Do you want to know how to make a shop GUI that looks exactly like this? Well, if so, I'm going to be showing you it in this video. Let's get started. Because the screen GUI basically holds all of the actual visible things you're going to see. So you're going to you're going to make a frame, right? And this will be your shop G GUI, your shop screen. So I'll just kind of make this how I want. And then I'll make the background color. And by the way, if you're really new to Roblox Studio, the properties tab, with properties thing is where you can control all this stuff. And yeah, that's about it. I'll add a UI corner too. If you go, you can add it into the frame. And it's really cool. See, it adds the stuff to the frame. And I'll go 0, 20 for the corner radius. So that gives it a nice rounded edge. And then I'll also add a text button, which will be the like close button that your players will use to like close out of the shop. So I'll make this red and um yeah, I'll make the font Fredoka one. I really like that one. We'll scale the text, and then we'll change the text to just X, the letter X. And then also get a UI corner in there too, because, yeah, corners look really cool. And so now, hold on, now we have the text button in our frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a local script into our text button. Actually, no, we're, don't do that yet. But before we start scripting, we're going to, let me make this frame f uh, not visible for a second. And then we're going to add a part. Uh, and this part will basically be whatever your players stand on to. Uh, open the shop so I'll make it kind of cool I guess and make it red and I'll make it neon which makes it kind of glow see there we go okay so now we have the part and we will name this open GUI and then we'll go into remote events our replicated storage my bad and we'll add a remote event and we will name this remote event open GUI as well. And then now you can go back to your local script. And then we'll go script dot parent and then colon hold on. Yeah. Colon wait no. No, don't do colon. Dot mouse button one click colon connect to a function and put parentheses. So basically what this is doing is it's getting the script's parent, which is the text button, and it's saying when the when the left mouse button is clicked, it's gonna do whatever this function, whatever is in this function. And so what we want it to do is script.parent dot visible equals false and that's all you need to do for this local script you can close out of it that's the only thing it's there for is so that when the frame is a uh, when the thing is there is when how you close out of it and then we'll go into our open GUI um, the, the part and you'll insert a script into there and then you'll go Local, and we're gonna go local event equals game dot replicated storage dot uh, open GUI, and so that's just getting the event for that, and then we'll go script dot parent dot touch colon connect function. And we'll do that. Uh, you gotta add parentheses and then go over one and then do that and so 
that's basically so basically over here we got the event the open gui event and then we got when the when the script's parent which is the open gui block when it's touched is going to do whatever is in here so actually we'll need to put hit in those parentheses and then down here we'll go if hit dot parent and then colon find first child and then you're gonna add quotation marks or just the little ones that, and you'll go humanoid then and then after we do then we're gonna go local player or plr for short equals game dot players and then colon get player from character and in the parentheses we'll put hit dot parent and then we're going to go down to and do events colon fire client oh and we actually need to put plr inside of that box okay so now we what we are going to do is inside of the frame we're going to add a local script and then right here we're going to get the event local event equals game dot replicated storage dot open gui same thing as before event dot on client event connect with a function then we'll go down then we'll go script script dot parent dot visible equals true and then if we go back we can test all this out by pressing play and here we are we step on the part, uh, screen UI pops up, click the button. Oh, actually, we have to put script.parent.parent in the first, in the text button script that we did because that the parent only goes to the text button. And then if we test our game out, see, we got this button that will open the screen. See, it opens the screen UI, and then we will close it out. And that's all. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, bye. This is a message to anybody who has been watching me prior to this video. So, I did some rebranding on this channel, and as you may have seen, and now the channel is some random scripter. It used to be that Scratch Dev, and I would post only Scratch development videos. And if you don't know what Scratch is, it's a, a block coding platform that... I used to be on and I probably will make another scratch video soon but today I wanted to do I wanted to start making Roblox scripting videos because I've been on Roblox studio for a little bit and I would like to I would like to make videos on it on um, tutorials and so I decided to rebrand the channel to make it uh, any type of scripting I want to do so yeah thanks for watching bye